and all the other cars are rumbling with their big V8s, V10s down the salt. And then you see this dirt coming down the salt, and it's just quiet, it's silent. There's nothing that says a hydrogen-powered vehicle has to be slow. Racing breeds technology. So this is really where it all starts. So when you see this going 200 miles an hour down the salt, and there's nothing but water emitting from the tailpipe, that's pretty cool. So we're essentially supercharging the fuel cells by using a greater oxygen content. Those are what we call our heliox tanks. That's a mixture of helium and oxygen gas. So people see that, yeah, if you can build a fuel cell car that goes 207 miles per hour, of course you can build one that goes 70 miles per hour down I-75. And the pressure's on us to supply it, the pressure's on the government to help bring the infrastructure where it needs to be. All of a sudden you're winding your way towards a commercially viable vehicle. Hopefully it's a sign of more things to come.